Welcome once again to the plus session of Uganda 2 YouTube channel. We are today streaming a 32 man competition that is happening at Laban's Arena in Namlanda 2. Big names in the Ugandan pool scene Joseph Kasozi and Sulamatovu. They are racing to five. Joseph Kasozi leads 1 0. You need to have followed the Ugandan pool for a, a long while for you to appreciate the greatness and achievement of Sula Matova. Nowadays he's finding it a bit hard to cope up with some of these more active players. It doesn't take away the fact that he's a very, very great player, a legend of the Ugandan game. Former national champion 2016 is about to go 2-0 down. Yes, that's the score. 2-0. Kasozi up. Sula got onto the stage of greatness in the year 2010 when he won the Pool Association of Uganda Easter Cup. Actually, it was 2011. He followed that up by winning the Kampala Open Championship later that year and became ranked number one the following year. He is also credited with victory in the 2012 Kampala Open, becoming the first player to defend the tournament, winning it back to back. He also won the Independence Cup in 2018, the Christmas Cup in 2016, the National Open Pool Championship in 2016. He also has been top scorer of the league and the pool club's knockout competition also helped Uganda win its first and only All Africa pool title in 2016 when they were on home soil. He's good friends with Kasozi, but they've been rivals on table, especially during Sula's very good days when Kasozi was pretty much trying to be one of the players to take on the mantle from the likes of Sula. Of course, now Kasozi starts as a big favorite in this match after things got some twists. Sula is not a very, very active player. He's so much into business. He still has the touch, but not the consistency. Nowadays, a proud father of two sons. Ayan Matovu and Ahian Matovu. Spends maybe I would say more time in Kenya than in Uganda for business reasons. He defeated Mark Mochibi in the first round to find himself here. There's another game going on between Ibra and his opponent. We shall be getting updates from that one as well as Ibrahim Kayanja, Musilama and Bob Katerega all in the round of last 16. Only one player has gotten himself into the round of last eight. That is Rashid Wagaba, a.k.a. Dog City. If these big guns shoot it up to the quarterfinals, then the quarterfinals will be all guns blazing.
Virtually all of them. We are at Laban's Arena in Namolanda. I had to find a way of resuming live streaming on YouTube because my original YouTube channel, that is Peter Chebe Live, is a very, very, very active channel. By the way, thank you for always watching those videos. But the majority of them are replays because nowadays it cannot go live. So this channel is purpose, has purposely been created to go live on YouTube because there is an, a YouTube audience which doesn't prefer other platforms where I normally go live, especially Facebook and at times TikTok. Sulamat of Zero, Joseph Kasozi 2, racing to 5. And for Kasozi also. Yes, 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 yes. He has not lost his brilliance entirely, Sula. He nowadays prefers an all-out offensive game. Just like that, he pulls one back. Sula one, Kasozi two. Thank you for watching, Betty Tabitha, Shafiq, Benon Lennon, Jeremiah Njuchi. The announcement you probably are waiting for, Jeremiah, is the Pool Association of Uganda end of your championship that is happening this coming weekend at Coma Gardens in Matuga. You need to register to play. Inbox or send 30,000, 31,000 shillings on mobile money. Either to the Pool Association of Uganda. bank account or to my mobile money numbers that is zero seven seven three twenty thirty nine seventy eight or zero seven zero four twenty thirty nine seventy nine also send a message to recognize you and differentiate you from others it is it will be by the way the last tournament i am serving as the pool association of uganda publicity secretary Yes, as on 27th January, I will be hanging up my boots as the publicity secretary of the procession of Uganda, but it will not stop me from doing what I'm doing, giving you live videos. This time, though, in personal capacity. The tournament shall be happening at Koma Gardens in Matuga near Kampala. About 12 Kenyans have registered, led by Evan Zokacha, my good friend and also commentator. The legendary player Henry Mwangi. It's long since he was last in Uganda. We are hoping to see him this time round in Kampala. I also expect a delegation of players from Tanzania. I'm still communicating with Michael Machela, my friend. The Kenyan team include Brian Kiptalam, nicknamed Loto, Simon Mutuma, Geoffrey Kibet, Stanley Kandie, Henry Mwangi, Moses Kimani, Dennis Mwanga, Patrick Mwangi, Kelvin Yegon, and now a flashboy Tabo, Evan Zokacha, Brand Simiu, Evan Kiprotich, Elvis Mutai, John Obaigwa, and Dominic Maina. While there is also a, lady, a ladies' delegation from Kenya, 
led by Patrick Keruche, there's also there's also Jackie Givingi, Hannah Kamau, Penny Rose and Masi Maganga all coming from Kenya to grace the end of your pool competition. Once again, this will be happening this Saturday and Sunday at Coma Gardens in Matuga. Feel free to come and join us as we celebrate the sport. We celebrate the end of the year. We celebrate Christmas festivities. Celebrate the new year in style. United in a competition happening next weekend. The end of your pool championship. Three million for the winner in the men's category. Top prizes in cash for the top eight. Not forgetting cash prizes for the top eight ladies. Also a ranking tournament. The last opportunity for these players to get themselves ranking points ahead of the new rankings, which shall be coming up on 27th of January. But for now, it looks like they... Of course, former seed one, outgoing seed one, that is ladies, Rashida Mutesi. Looks to be somewhat having a lead also in this next year's rankings. And if this remaining ranking tournament favors her, then she will retain her number one ranking status ahead of her sister and national champion. Rukia Naga. Remember that in the first tournament of the year, which was the Grand Open, which Montes Rashida won, Rukia did not play past the round of 16 when she lost to Rita Nimosima. Of course, the men are set to have the most undisputed seed number one that Uganda has ever had, being number one and being so undisputed. Caesar. Unless one of these players outshines him in this remaining competition and not just being outshined, Caesar has to lose in the earlier rounds for one of these players to win that comp and deny him of the number one slot. Also players like Ibuan Nika Mansur, Ibrahim Sejemba, Simon Lubulwa, Habib Sabuguzi are in danger of this time round missing out on the top eight ranking category. The big advantage of rank, being ranked among the top eight is the opportunity not to play qualifiers. Of course, for the National Open, the opportunity to be having first priority to be invited to the national team and, of course, pride as Joseph Kasozi tries to enforce his attacking prowess on Sula. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe the miss of the tournament so far this time around from Kasozi. What happened, what you saw in the background is a moving cow which threatened all of the viewers and threatened the Kasozi himself. He ended up missing what should have been a very easy black to pot. Just like that gives the game away to Sula who comes to take the easy pickings, pots the black and equalizes Sula too. Kasozi 2, race to 5. <laughs> Education. <laughs> 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 
Please continue subscribing to this YouTube channel. I also want to take a personal vote of thanks to you people always following me wherever I go. I try my best to bring you these videos, but I also try my best to use all of the possible platforms for the benefit of the sport. Yes, after the hacking up of the Peter Chobe live pool page, at least the break and finish live page is now up and running. Thank you for the 10,000 of you plus who have followed it over the last two months. The Peter Chobe live YouTube channel is very very vibrant but it doesn't go live because of musical restrictions that's why we are using this one for live videos on youtube sula 2 kasozi 2 as Sula Fowls, the two players are first off, of course, many times before. Before the year 2019, before 2019, it was pretty much dominance by Sula Matovu, but after then, it has been Kasozi all through the times they have been facing off, apart from once, that was the Christmas Cup last year in Fort Porto when Sula defeated Kasozi by five to three. Mark Henry is asking when the next tournament at KV Arena in Masaka. There was supposed to be a big comp at KV Pool Arena. I understand it is cancelled. <laughs> Fahadi Elizio for asking if Mansur is still in the tournament and the answer is yes. Dennis, you say you wish Caesar a Merry Christmas. I do think Caesar may be watching. As Kasozi Joseph now increases his deficit against Sula, Sula now leads 3-2. Kasozi won the first two frames. Sula has won the next three. And the match is pretty much alive.
Thank you for watching Guxan Yare, Bwini Kennedy. 256 Avanyampi Mark Henry. Who was asking for the next tournament at KV Pool Arena, the main comp that was supposed to be organized at KV Pool Arena, I understand, is cancelled. Instead, they will be having an internal comp, not open to everyone, just, you know, usual customers of the place. So the main comp, the beginning of the tournament that normally happens at KV Pool Arena, this time will not happen. Unless there is a new development that comes from Mr. Chimera Vincent. For now, the tournament is not on. Midumavi, thanking for the stream. Thank you for the appreciation. Please don't forget to subscribe. Once we reach 1,000, we shall have no more restrictions. Actually, many of the videos remained, remain in private mode and they are not, some of them are not permitted for viewing after they are streamed live, after being posted. It is because we have not yet realized the 1,000 number, but at least we have the major thing that is have enough numbers to go live. Joseph Kasozi, two, Sulamat over three, rest two, five. <laughs> Sibra has just signaled to me that he's leading 3 nil in his match. That one should be pretty much a straight victory. But there, there was another comp last week which I wasn't able to stream live because of the ongoing Inter University games. which I was focusing on. That one was won by Caesar after he defeated. I think it was Gideon in the final and Ibra came third. A 32 man comp like this one, which ended pretty much late in the night. Someone is asking about computers. Fit he's through to the round of last 16. If I'm not mistaken, he will be taking on a Dan Moviru. That one should be another very good game in the attacking sense of it. So it is a very good comp which is delivering. The games are becoming bigger and better and tighter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for at times how I sound. I have a little bit of flu. So that's why at times I go mute when I'm just trying to take care of myself a bit. Then I come back and speak when I feel more comfortable. <laughs> And the polite reminder this being YouTube, if you want to watch the best possible video, 
if the if you are not finding your viewing as beautiful as you hope it would be simply touch your video touch your screen if you are watching from a phone go to settings after touching the screen it is on, it is the icon on the top right of your screen that is the top right of your screen go to settings select quality then advanced and then select the highest possible figure the higher figure you pick the better the video but the more data it consumes He still has it in him, Sula. Even when the opponent is a guy as strong as Kasozi, Sula is fighting his way. Of course, his body is no longer as flexible as the young man who dominated the Ugandan pool. Between 2010 and 16, he won pretty much everything, everything that was there to win as an individual, as a member of his clubs, as a member of the national team. But Kasozi now responds with a very good shot, a master shot, white ball coming around the black, putting yellow in the center, now on the black, and equalizes 3-3. I'm <laughs> 
After that, Blanda Sula concedes. Kasozi through. Up next, Lula Simon versus Dan Mobidu. Coming up on Facebook. Break and finish live. Thank <laughs> you.